Good morning, Leticia. What I can tell you, just a few minutes ago, they reopened this on-ramp to eastbound 50 at 16th Street, but traffic is still really backed up. We can spin around there, and you can see there are still a ton of cars coming off of the freeway. That's because they have eastbound Highway 50 still shut to, tra to all but one lane of traffic. As uh, the multidisciplinary accident investigation team looks into exactly what happened here, you can see above me there the highway patrol uh, vehicle that was struck. Uh, and th they're actually investigating this as two separate accidents. The first one happened right around 3 o'clock this morning. It was two vehicles involved in a minor accident. One of those drivers actually fled the scene on foot. Uh, the two responding officers were attempting to get those vehicles out of the middle of the highway and onto to the shoulder, and it was while they were doing that that a FedEx big rig came, struck one of the officers and his vehicle. That officer is at a local hospital suffering major injuries while that mate investigation team looks into exactly how this happened. We don't know why the other driver fled, possibly DUI, possibly at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, we always have to take that into consideration. Um, fatigue driving, all these things, uh, we have to make that determination of where the driver from the FedEx truck was driving from, you know, what his destination was. So as we get into the investigation, we'll make a lot more determinations. And that investigation is expected to take at least a couple of hours uh, as they put the pieces together. And as you can see, that patrol vehicle is still up there on the side of the highway. And there were several officers, as well as Caltrans workers, that were on the highway, both directing traffic into that one remaining lane that's open and also investigating and marking up the highway. Meanwhile, they still have one lane, one on-ramp, rather, at 13th Street on-ramp into eastbound Highway 50. That's still closed as well as several lanes of traffic on the actual highway. Again, this on-ramp to at 16th Street just reopened, but traffic still really backed up. So if you're planning on being in the downtown area, you're definitely going to want to avoid this for the next several hours. Reporting live in downtown Sacramento, I'm Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News. Thanks, Kristen. We wish that officer a speedy recovery. Here's what we're